Hey everybody, here in the middle of a heat wave evaluating the 2024 CF Moto Z Force 950 Sport 4 seater. Uh, this is new to the lineup, it was introduced in the fall. Pretty awesome machine, we had a great day riding yesterday, so we got lots of impressions, and uh, the test ride will be coming up real soon on dirt tracks. Just wanted to comb over all the features. I've got my notes with me. Sorry if it's a bit casual, but uh, yeah, my brain is fried today and the heat is just ridiculous. So let's go over some of the cool features this thing offers in Canada. Okay, starting up here with 4,500 pound winch with a synthetic rope. This thing is actually awesome. We had to use it a couple times yesterday to uh, get us out of a couple tight situations. Super handy to have, there's a lot of value there. These folding mirrors right here, this awesome removable trunk out back, which uh, we'll show you a bit more about, but it latches, it opens real easy, fits tons of stuff. Uh, yesterday we had all our camera gear stuffed inside here. It was secure and it was safe and riding through mud, nothing got wet. Um, and the cool thing about this trunk is it is removable. Um, so you can just uh, take that off if it's something you're not using, or if you have stuff that's a bit taller than able to fit in the trunk, you can just take that off and use it as an open bed. There's also this half windshield. Now I'm not 100% certain that this comes stock in Canada or if it is an aftermarket feature. It is available as an aftermarket feature and it does just snap off and removes pretty easily. Personally, I mean, windshields are cool and in cooler weather riding, it's actually really good. Yesterday though, it was dying. It does such a good job of keeping the wind out and I wanted the wind because it was just so hot yesterday. Um, but yeah, I probably would have taken that off yesterday, but I mean, if you do want a windshield, that's a pretty cool offering right there. This machine also gets the 963 V-Twin. Um, that's about 85 horsepower. It's decent power. It's not a monster in this class, but it does work really well and it's decent power. I, I mean, realistically, I think CF Moto is probably going to come out with another V-Twin that's, you know, higher than 100 horsepower. We'll probably see that in this machine and probably the HO as well. Maybe the HO, hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll get a nice restyling too. And, um, you know, won't look like a rocket ship anymore. But for now, this is this G2 styling is probably the coolest though. I think, I think this machine just looks beautiful. You get CV Tech clutching, which is really nice and offers a lot of value. It works, it works so smooth and it shifts so smooth from, from engagement right up to top ends. Plus you also get the double A arms up front double arm front suspension and a double A-link rod rear suspension out back. It's 12.2 inches of travel up front and 13.1 in the back. Plus there's these really nice new shocks for this year on this machine. Now, I don't know if the 24 two passenger gets these shocks, but if you watched my review of the two passenger uh, 950 Sport last year, you know, I had my complaints about them. They weren't as intuitive as I expected them to be. All of that is fixed. These are eight position clickers with a really nice red anodized knob that they seat really well uh, at each click. Plus they work awesome. I had uh, the front suspension set three clicks from soft and the rear I set at four clicks from soft. We had three full-size adults with all our camera gear. This thing was fully loaded up and we were hitting some pretty aggressive trails. You'll see from the footage that uh, Graham got yesterday that uh, you know we did some pretty aggressive riding and honestly, could barely feel the trail. It was beautiful. It, 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 I was really impressed and uh, pleasantly surprised with that yesterday. That was, that was some really, that is a really nice upgrade to this model. And you get these really nice looking wheels too with this model. They're uh, a dual color wheel. Uh, wrapped around these stag tires, and these are 27 inch stag tires. Not my favorite tire. I, honestly, I, I, I wish that CF Moto would use something with a grippier compound, maybe a slightly more aggressive tread, or even give us a branded tire that's, that's not these ones. <laughs> but uh, I didn't, they didn't provide as much traction as I felt that I wanted out of this machine. They work fine, but for myself, be the first thing that I would change on this first thing and probably the only stock feature that I would change on this because you know like I said 4,500 pound winch these shocks amazing I wouldn't mess with that at all but tires that's one thing I would change let's take a look at these doors too so the CF Moto does an awesome job with these doors the doors on the on the trail and the sport 
were really nice last year. They've carried that through that same design this year. And look at these lines, like look at this. I love the coloration. They got this uh, sticker pattern, but these doors are finished really nice. Look how beautiful this line is and look how it matches up. It's beautiful. They open really nice. It's got a handle on the outside, which I actually appreciate. I like that. And it's got the handle on the inside and they're actually finished on the inside with a rubber seal. Okay, the rear doors open outwards, but there's enough room to get in and out of the out, in and out of the back seat, no problem. And they're same finish on the inside, and uh, again, rubber seal, so you're protected from mud and dirt getting in. So really nice uh, steering wheel. This machine has EPS as well. The EPS is dialed in really nice. It has automotive style steering. Honestly, it's uh, it's very light and nimble, uh, coupled with the, uh, smaller uh, width front tires handles really well on the trails. They also have the CF Moto digital gauge. I love this gauge. The It is nice and bright and colorful. Um, it is one of the nicest gauges uh, currently offered. Um, to be honest, the, the, only, the only other one that I'm really impressed with lately, uh, we tested the Brute Force 750 yesterday and the digital gauge on that is just uh, spectacular, but doesn't take anything away from the CF Moto one. It's, it's a really nice gauge. You've got these, uh, your toggle switches on the dash operate in normal and sport mode. We stayed in sport most of the day. I usually do when I'm riding these CF motos, I find uh, 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 the sport performance mode is is the nicest mode to ride in. Um, two wheel drive, four wheel drive and locking diff. You got a horn, you got hazard lights and you got turn signals. Um, lots of storage up front here. Uh, this opens up and you've got your remote for the winch, which we had to use a couple of times yesterday. Um, really handy to have that right there. Um, it plugs in there nicely. Plus you can still fit some things in there. It's not just all cable and a winch in there. This deep well storage up here is absolutely humongous. I think we had uh, six water bottles, bug spray, a couple of hats. We had our phones in there too. And, you know, there was still some stuff in the bottom of it we didn't we didn't even realize was there until today we were like oh geez there's there's still a couple of things in there it's huge there's tons of storage in this thing so we've got an adjustable driver's seat forward and back weird thing though there's no adjustment in the passenger seat i can't off the top of my head remember if most uh if most sport passenger seats are adjustable forward and back but to be honest with you it's something that i think could have been a good it could have been a good option to have that especially with the uh with the, the space in the back seat the back seat does have quite a bit of space in the 510 and flip back they're real nice but to be able to move the seat a little bit forward would have been nice it would have been nice to be able to give uh to give a bit more space because there it, it is quite spacious up front that's all for inside here oh yeah i also wanted to mention we got a parking brake too and this this shifter works fantastic honestly it's so smooth um when we're shooting we're always driving down the trail we got to do a three-point turn to get this thing turned around this thing was more like a 10-point turn felt like austin powers a couple of times um but so you're forward reverse forward reverse constantly and it seats really nice and never once did it grind out or you know slip or cause be fussy or anything it's it's really smooth transition it works really well i'm impressed by that 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 was something that really impressed me yesterday a lot of you always ask about uh service points on these vehicles so i wanted to take a minute to just strip everything out and show you how to get access to all the service points cf motos made this actually uh quite easy and accessible these rear seats pop out so fast and you've got access to your ecu your battery your air filter right here behind the seat and this center console pops off with a couple of half turn fasteners so you get access to your engine here so you know if you need to do any service it's uh it's right there it's a really cool feature um i was impressed with this on the uh on the two passenger and i'm glad that uh CF Moto carried it forward onto this as well um they've uh, just been doing a lot of really cool innovations and i'm impressed with this machine lots more to come folks thank you for tuning in uh please be sure to click the like button and uh if you haven't already subscribe to our channel and leave a comment if you've got anything you want to say about this or say about anything uh, about constructive about what we're doing please leave us a comment it's me i'm the one that's answering everything every every post anyways so uh, you'll be communicating with me directly you got a direct line to me if you want to say anything or ask me anything and i hope to hear from you until then though thanks for watching
Ah, I did it again. You know, AJ's notorious for this and now I did it. So I'm back here, another cut, and I'm gonna jump in this thing and start it up because I know you want to hear how it sounds. And it does sound pretty mean. Yep, that's a V-twin. That sounds real sweet. Anyways, that's it folks. Thanks for watching.